Continuing top story coverage, police investigating after several reports of gunfire throughout the city late Tuesday and Wednesday night. One home has been hit multiple times. First News Weekend anchor Megan Lee joins us live in the newsroom tonight with what we know. Megan. Yeah, Youngstown police are investigating multiple reports of gunfire on the city's south side. A home on Douglas Avenue has been shot up two nights in a row. Now, initially, police thought it was a home that was caught in crossfire after it was hit with 30 bullets on Tuesday night. And then again, last night it was hit. Now police are believing that this home is targeted. Today, police could be found around Douglas Avenue collecting shell casings and other evidence. Police were also called to the Cottage Grove area around 11 o'clock last night. Officers told us there were roughly 20 rounds fired off. Police believe suspects in vehicles on East Boston Avenue may have been shooting at each other. At this time, Captain Simon does not believe the gunfire on Douglas Avenue is related to the gunfire on East Boston. The police are asking for the public's help on any information in this gunfire. You're going to be caught. Um, and I would just say that, you know, consider whatever the grievances you have against the folks in this house or who you believe may be at that house or believe may be hanging out with the folks at that house to, you know, try to find a different resolution than shooting up the house. We've seen it all too much in this city and across the country. Police will continue to investigate these incidents. Again, police are urging residents of Youngstown to call with any information on these incidents or other crimes in the city. Just call YPD's detective division. That number can be found on our website. And they also told me that they're going to be doing extra patrols in those areas to possibly catch who's ever responsible for this gunfire. Live in the newsroom, Megan Lee, WKBN 27 First News.